quite a few of our um, fellow countrymen and so on have family in, in London and they can stay, but they, they were not interested in the accommodation package, but specifically they're interested in purchasing tickets and hoping to uh, uh, help those persons who are interested in that, in that area. <coughs> and I'll go ahead and answer that. This yeah. The microphone's right here. Uh, yes, we can. Um, we are set up, and actually we're obligated by the IOC, the International Olympic Committee, and the local organizing committee, LOCOG, to do what we call ticket-only sales. And um, it's just a, a matter of numbers. Uh, obviously, everybody wants to go to the 110 high hurdle final to see Barbados win the gold medal in uh, 2012. And uh, if we have enough inventory, we'll sell ticket only. Um, but it, it just depends on what our allocation is. But yes, we're accommodating to do that and we're ready to go. And in fact, next week we're going to begin our first review of requests we have received. And uh, please get them sent in to us uh, sooner rather than later. National Olympic Committee of Barbados is pleased to announce that Caravan has once again been appointed to serve as our official games travel company and authorized ticket reseller for the very popular London 2012 Olympic Games. Uh, we have worked with Caravan now for a number of Olympic Games and the experience both to the National Olympic Committee and indeed our many patrons has been very pleasant. So we're certainly pleased to be once again in partnership with Cartan for 2012. And uh, after 2004, we decided to move the operation and become more international and, and with the help of uh, Greg Harney and his uh, associate Francisco Campo. Uh, we approached a number of the Olympic committees thinking that if we had about six or eight Olympic committees we uh, would be very pleased and happy to be able to stay within the movement. We are now up to 40, so we represent 40 National Olympic committees and in terms of all of their needs for the Olympic Games. And this will give you an idea, mostly through the Americas and we have um, three of the countries in, in the Pacific, uh, Guam, Guam, Micronesia, and uh, New Zealand. So we're um, back heavily involved and looking forward to London. And we realize that with so many Commonwealth countries, London's going to be very popular. Um, a little information on the games. They uh, will run from July 27 to um, August 12 with opening ceremony being the 27th. A few of the preliminary football games will take place prior to the 27th, but that's the official opening. There'll be over 10,500 athletes competing, and uh, uh, there'll be medals in 26 different sports. Uh, this is the third time that London will host the Summer Games, which is the first and they uh, are well prepared. They're really ahead now. Cart hand, the way we're set up, we offer a variety of, of different services and it's not all um, aimed at the wealthy uh, or the individual. If somebody wants a single event ticket, we're there to help them uh, and to provide that for them or if they want a travel package. So for us, we offer event ticket sales, whether they're within a package or whether they're uh, standalone, as we call it. We do travel programs, and we've taken the travel programs and, and separated them. We have one program that's an inclusive program. We've done a, a set schedule of events that we automatically include in that, in that package, and the person that books it then is guaranteed those events the moment that they book that program and we have a number of different selections there that somebody can look at. And then we have what we call a flexible program, and that one's designed for the individual that would like to make their own event selection.